Alrighty, what we have here is a trio of trailer locks. The way these work is this is for your coupler. That was where the pin goes. This goes inside the coupler. And then this secures your drawbar to your car. The whole purpose of this is not to stop people from picking locks or stealing your stuff because this is not going to do that. I mean, the, I mean, just look at the key. <laughs> Lock picking lawyer would look at this and have a chuckle. <laughs> He'd probably have these picked in about 15 seconds. Okay, these are not high quality tumblers and. Um, key mechanisms. What these are is honest people locks and don't get me wrong 99 out of 100 locks out there you look up trailer locks on Amazon 99 out of 100 of them are just like this They're to keep honest people honest if someone really wants your rig They're gonna get it and it's gonna take a lot more than a lock to stop them What this stops is the smash and grab the people who are opportunistic the vultures the vast majority of thieves because the vast majority of high quality professional thieves don't want your stuff. The smash and grab guy, the guy who's an opportunistic vulture, this stops him. Because he's not going to hang around to try to defeat these locks. Even if he could defeat them in five minutes, he's not going to stick around to do it. So you take all the easy avenues away from the perp and you protect your stuff. I live in a state that has lax trailer laws. I live next to a state that has no trailer registration so trailer theft is pretty high and this should be pretty effective at stopping that I mean first they got to get onto my property second they have to knock your caught by the cameras third they have to do it long enough to defeat these locks and then run away with the trailer this is good at stopping them from doing that so this here um, goes into where your the part of your trailer your coupler that you lift up and latch down to put on the um, trailer that's what this is for Basically, it keeps your trailer from coming loose while you're driving it. Because while you're driving it, you can't use that. <laughs> because it's attached to your ball hitch. So you need this. This keeps them from unhooking your trailer from your hitch. Now, here's the problem, though. Your drawbar, the, the actual... You have the hitch in the back of your car, and then you have the drawbar that comes out that has the ball on it. Okay? Well, that's held on by a pin. They could just slide that whole unit out, slide it into their truck, and take off. <laughs> because the, it's a standardized 2-inch drawbar. So this locks the drawbar to your car. So this locks the trailer to the drawbar, and this locks the drawbar to your hitch. So this is what you use when you're driving down the road, and this is what you keep this on your car at all times, of course, and this is what you use when the trailer is parked. So when the trailer is parked in front of your house or back of your house or whatever, that's what you use. When you get to your destination, you unhitch your trailer, that's what you use. You put that on there. When you go to drive with the trailer, you take that off and you put this on. And that stops them from easily detaching your trailer from your drawbar and taking off with it. And then this stops them from taking the whole trailer and drawbar together and just attaching it to their car. So there you go. Nice set of locks. Um, they're, they're decent. I mean, like I said, these are not high security, okay? But, you know, that is brass, that is steel. A simple ball bean hammer is probably not going to take these off. You know, a guy with a hacksaw is going to take a while to get through these. Most people don't know how to pick. So that's really not a huge security issue for most people. For 99% of us, this is perfectly good enough. And it's a fair price. It's nice and bright red, so they see that and go, yep, that's too much work, and they're just going to walk on and look for something easier. That's the way most criminals work, and this is perfect for that. It comes with a key to like for all, so you got four keys. I would advise keeping one in the truck, one with a friend, and then the other two on you. This way, if you lose a key, you either have one in the truck or your partner who's with you has one. Um, you don't want to not be able to unlock them. But they're all key to like, so the same key works in all three locks. This one you unlock and this slides down. Can I do that with one hand? Let's try it. So you gotta hold this key in position like that. And I, I might be able to just let it fall off. Yeah, there we go. There you go. So this part here latches on to the paw here, this teeth. And you just tighten it. You stick this up inside your where your ball goes and then you drop that on there and it slides on there and locks it in place. It's nice bright red, good deterrent. This just replaces the existing pin you already have um, on the car. Did I just put that in the wrong end? Oh, it's, oh, it's got, oh, 
Well, that's pretty cool. It'll fit either size. So there's your small hole and there's your big hole. Okay, now that's pretty darn cool. I was wondering why it had that on both ends. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. And this will fit on your coupler, on everything except the smallest trailer. So this won't fit your tiny trailers, like the little four-foot trailer I have behind my car. This might not fit. But all my big trailers, the camper, etc., the boat, this will all fit. I like that. That's pretty neat. So it's got a skinny side and a thick side. But the locking paw is the same on both sides. So whether you need the thick or the thin, you just swap this to the appropriate side. That's pretty darn cool. I like that. Overall, nice set for a nice price. It'll do the job of protecting your stuff from 99% of the people out there who might decide well, they should have it instead of you. So, good protection.